Welcome back to Hannity. So the destroyed Trump media has been complaining yet again about White House press briefings not being televised. Yesterday, two former press secretaries to President George W. Bush and Bill Clinton said that the White House should embargo all video from press briefings. Now, President Bush's press secretary, Ari Fleischer, tweeted out, we support no live TV coverage of White House briefing. Embargo it, let it be used, but not as live TV. Better for the public, the White House, and the press. Here with reaction from CircaNews.com, Sarah Carter and former White House Press Secretary Ari Fleischer. All right, here's my take on it. They all want to get their, their clip of the night of them being tough, them grilling, right. you know, in this case, poor Sean Spicer or, or Sarah Huckabee Sanders. It, it, it's vicious. And I don't think it's productive, and I don't think the American people are getting anything, anything out of it unless you want to watch a, a remake of Morton Downey. Yeah, Sean, the fact is most White House reporters get their news not from the briefing. <laughs> they get their, their news from phone calls and other ways reporters dig for information. The briefing is a TV show, and it's been one for years. And Mike McCurry and I have argued this point even before Bill Clinton, uh, um, Donald Trump took office. Stop the live coverage. Stop the red hot TV show from taking place in which both the press secretary and the press posture and peacock for the cameras as opposed to a serious briefing. <laughs> Far better just it take it off the live TV. Yeah, that's called peacock. Yeah. You know, that Mike, Mike makes the point, Mike McCurry, that when the camera was behind him, the obvious point was to get a video of a reporter acting enraged or engaged. And Mike said, why are we letting them do that? So this was actually Mike's idea to turn the cameras off from live coverage so reporters don't, don't do that think, anymore. And I think he's right. Sarah, I actually have a, a, a different idea. And it would be this. Let the reporters send in the night before, early in the morning, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, you know, their top questions of the day, top three questions from every person. You know, put them all together, get the top 15 or 20 issues they want answered, give the 40 some odd people in the press office time to give a thoughtful, well thought out answer, pass these answers out before the press briefing, and then if they have questions specifically about what was sent to them, then they can get a little deeper into it. Why not do it in an intelligent way that's informative, that gives people time to respond, not gotcha? Well, you, you know, that's what happens sometimes when we're working on stories. We give people time for fair comment and, you know, we're digging, we're digging those facts. But, you know, Sean, I don't think the White House press corps is going to buy that. They want to be able to ask whatever question they want on the moment, on the fly. But I have to agree with Ari. It's turned into a train wreck and some kind of horrible reality TV show. I, it, this isn't just about, you know, a mutual relationship where people are sharing um, ideas or they're asking questions. And Ari's 100 percent right. I mean, most of the time, yeah. my idea of investigative reporting is going out there and hitting the beat and calling the source. Is, uh, it's not going to a press briefing and getting an well, answer. That the story is not there. Ari, you know, I know it's been bad. I know you dealt with a pretty difficult time, and there was Bush derangement sy syndrome when you were there. But let's see, MSNBC's morning host calls the president a schmuck, a goon, a liar, a thug, yeah. an idiot, pooping his pants, and now has gotten into the music industry with an anti-Trump anthem video that is almost psychotic looking. It's pretty so bad. much worse now than it was. And it was pretty bad when I was there. It's gotten worse. But the point that Mike and I are making is we need to have both sides take a break. There ought to be a truce now. And the truce is best done just Not by calming happen. down the atmosphere, calming down. Well, the point here is if the briefing isn't on live TV, reporters have a lot less incentive to posture and do the things they do to show they can ask the same question 17 different ways, and they're tougher than the next guy so they can get it answered. They'll just move on. It's not live coverage anymore. The media is now invested in trying to take this guy down. And appreciate both of you.